Need an interface? Choose the pre's the pros use. Focusrite. No gimmicks. Just 25 years of mic pre excellence. We're here at Music Mesa on the second day and I'm talking to Brandon at Sonar about the um, V concept that we have here, which is now V small, I believe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So what do you get, uh, apart from the rather wonderful looking box, what, what, what is the system that we have here? Well, the uh, V-Studio 100, uh, as it's much V smaller, uh, it's basically a number of different products uh, sort of in one that it kind of problem solve a lot of things. So what you end up with is first a, a digital mixer. So you have basically an eight in, six out mixer. Um, it has uh, built-in DSP-based compression, EQ, reverb, so you can take it, record, uh, you know, play live with it, what have you, mix your input sources, you have 2496 mic pre's, some inputs in the back, and you can actually record all this, you know, disconnected from a computer, wherever you are, to uh, an SD card right in the front. So you get your ideas down, actually has a built-in metronome, uh, MIDI in and out, so you can record that stuff. Uh, if you're recording, let's say, a live show, you can even drop in markers so that when you do take this and you do hook it up to a computer, you can then drag those files uh, right into the computer and then markers will show up, uh, those files will go in there and then you can use those to kind of flesh out the rest of the song. Um, beyond that, when you're, if you're using it with a computer, uh, it comes with a really powerful software suite. And so if you're using it on a, on a PC, you get Sonar VS, which is a special version of, of, of Sonar that comes with it, 64 tracks. Um, and then there's another thing called the production pack, and this can work on Mac or PC. And basically what it is is things like, um, you have lots of backing track software like Studio Instruments Drums, Studio Instruments Bass, uh, Strings, Dimension LE, Rapture LE, and a uh, full suite of effects processors. So, so on a Mac you can use it with any Mac software, you can use all the instruments, all the effects, it's got core audio drivers, and then on the PC of course, um, ASIO and WDM. And uh, so, so the idea is that you know you can record your ideas out, you can use it as a mixer out with effects, work in the software later, but then you could also actually take your tracks when you finalize them, put backing tracks on the SD recorder, and then take this back out, like a gig or what have you, and have all your backing tracks play while you're using the digital mixer live. So it kind of goes, you know, from uh, from the field back to the studio and then back again to the stage or wherever you want to take it. So that's kind of the concept behind it. Okay, but for the door user, it's essentially a combination of an interface, mixer, and transport. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, so when, you're, when you're using it as a DAW, yeah, you've got a, a high-quality interface uh, with you know, XLR and quarter-inch ins and outs. You have a very high-quality, high-resolution, 14-bit, um, touch-sensitive, 100-millimeter motorized fader, uh, which you can then step through all your different tracks, and you'll see it, can, it will uh, snap to where you are. Uh, and select the different tracks. You can go to your buses, control that, uh, pan, those types of things. But what's particularly interesting if you're using a uh, Cakewalk-based DAW is that you have an act control section. So this is sort of like the top row of what you'd have in a VS700, but you have this uh, four knobs in a VS100, which will uh, control things. You can see on screen, I'm controlling some aspects of this plugin here. Um, there's also a mode called full DAW mode, which basically uh, would allow you all of these knobs to send MIDI. So if you're not using the digital mixer, rather than these doing nothing, these can control synth filters or uh, envelopes, uh, plug-in, you know, if, uh, parameters of plugins or what have you. So, and then of course the backlit transport controls, which are, you know, quite nice, rewind, forward, loop capabilities, and some things like solo and mute, solo clear, and of course um, automation control. As so well. how many different doors can you control with this? Because you were saying it's not only Sonar. Right. Well, it supports Mac E protocol, so uh, you can control, you know, Logic, Ableton Live, uh, pretty much anything. And then, of course, uh, it can it also works with full versions of Sonar. But then, of course, comes with Sonar VS. So basically, anything that supports the Mac E protocol will work. Hmm. And it has eight physical inputs if you include the SPDIF input. That's correct, yeah. So you've got, you've got the SPDIF, you've got some quarter-inch inputs on the back, and then you've got the, the two mic pre's in the front uh, with high-Z control, and then, of course, line-in sensitivity here. Uh, very, very high quality, uh, especially at this price point, very high quality inputs. Uh, a very high-resolution fader that's really, really smooth. A lot of DSP uh, on it, 16,000-some steps. 
Um, so yeah, so it's it's all real quality. It it feels great. It's relatively heavy. It certainly looks professional and substantial. So what's the package going to cost us, and when can we expect shipping? Uh, shipping, I think we're going to probably talk about sometime in the summer uh, is when we'll expect it in stores, and uh, uh, right in June, sometime around there. Uh, and right now, the Target's uh, estimated street price is uh, 699 with all of the software package uh, as well. And one of the pieces of software that I just wanted to point out that I'm particularly excited about, uh, that I think is... Uh, uh, worth part of the price of admission is the the VX64, which I could mention real quickly about. It's just uh, it's you know people who are using these types of things, you want to get a, a a good vocal sound right away. I think anybody does. This is sort of like a seven stage processor uh, that gives you a DS or a compander, a tube EQ, tube stages on the input and output, uh, a doubler, and a tempo syncing delay. And it actually allows you to drag these components around. Uh, and it has presets for really usable presets for all different types of uh, uh, vocals um, for all different types of genres. So it's an incredibly good sounding plugin. Can do stuff more than just vocals, but um, I think it's you know one of the best plugins we've ever we've ever done, and I think one of the best plugins out there for for vocals. Uh, were you saying earlier that there was some DSP capability in here as well? Yeah. Uh, when you're using this <coughs> standalone, or, or even when you're recording through it to a to a DAW, it's got uh, compression and EQ on all of your inputs, mm -hmm. and you've also got reverb built in with I think four kinds of reverb. So one of those is like an echo. Um, so those are available just maybe for confidence, or mm -hmm. also for if you're doing uh, like a live gig with it or something. You can obviously add a little bit of compression and EQ, and those effects can be recorded to the uh, SD card if you want, or bypassed mm -hmm. as well. So, so that's that's pretty important, and then uh, of course you've got the uh, all important headphone jack on the front, and uh, you know it could be tabletop, laptop, mm -hmm. sit on a stand. Um, so, so that DSP capability is there. These can actually control those compressors and EQs uh, if it's standalone. But if you've got it hooked up to a DAW, then this can control your uh, virtual effects processors. Thanks.